Okay, this one's for you. This is a four card. You ask a question, you pick, and then a six card diet across at the end. There'll be yes, no, or maybe answers of the first four cards, and then we'll uh, flesh it out later. I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this one's for you. I mean, there's just a select uh, some of you that watch this video regularly, and that's who I try to uh, put my intention in for. So this one's for you. Take a deep breath, stop the tape, get yourself something to drink, and then come back and let's do the cards. So these are Los Scarabio cards. This is the Visa Versa Tarot. And uh, I'm going to tell you, the, the folks who have this idea have some difficult names, but I'm going to try to get through it. So Massimiliano Filadoro. Lunea Weatherstone and the artwork by David Corsi. So nice, nice, nice cards. They've got that cool kind of magnetic clasp that's really neat to get. The box, if you gave it as a gift or if you received it, you think, wow, this was a very thoughtful gift. They've got all these nice little pulls that you can unpack everything easily with. And the uh, guidebook is a color guidebook, easy to read. Um, and lots of thought and intention into these uh, suggestions for the divinations that you can use. Um, the cards, again, have this nice little pull that you can get them out of the box with. But what I really love about these cards, well, it intimidated me for a long time, actually, is that there's no front and there's no back. There's a this side, which is indicated by the little embellishment on the right-hand side of the, of the card. And then there's a that side, which is in, indicated by a little embellishment, embellishment on the left side of the card. So you kind of get the idea that this is um, um, the, and there's no right and there's no wrong, there's no good and there's no bad. It's just that um, a different um, view on how to divine this card when it comes up. So the problem with them is that when you're shuffling them, you know, you know, once you've dealt your cards, you know what's going to be on the other side because, you know, it's there. So, you know, you're going to know that this is a uh, King of Cups uh, right away. Uh, if that doesn't bother you, if you can divert that from your mind, the cards are beautiful. And uh, so you see that the artwork goes right to the edge. Um, they give you nice hints. Uh, on the cards as to how they, uh, what they are, because so, sometimes that can be an issue when you're trying to figure out uh, how to use these cards. And it doesn't matter which way you put them out, because there's a this and a that side, and uh, you've got uh, work, things to work with. So it's almost like you're getting two decks of cards in one. And uh, it used to intimidate me, but now I love using these cards. And uh, they're glossy, they're easy to use, they slide off of each other, but not too in a bad way. And um, I like to spread them out like this so that, uh, or if I have a reading for someone, let them spread them out so that people kind of get their energy into the cards. And so this is the this and that, uh, vice versa tarot. And uh, I love them. Okay, so this will be four card uh, oracle. You ask a question, it will be four cards, and you can pick one, two, three, or four. One, two, three, or four, four cards. And then after that, after I reveal those, I'll do a, a six card dyadic cross re uh, reveal on each of those four. But first, let's have just a couple seconds for this. That's all it takes. Okay. Now, let's see. Four cards. So get your questions, you know, really set. Uh, in your mind, or whatever the issue is that you you know want to deal with, you know really you know just kind of focus on that for a minute. And um, even before you do that, you might be going to need to you know pause the tape, get yourself something to drink, uh, come back, get comfortable wherever you're sitting, flip the thing on, and we get started. Right now, I'm going to pick four cards, and remember these are on both sides, so I'll be revealing the side that we're not seeing. Okay, these will rest up for a minute. I'll put these out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, and four. So it's a little bit of a cheat because you know what the card is, but just pick one, two, three, or four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can stop the tape if you need to take a minute. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And then these will go over here while we deal with your first choice, number one. Get these cards over here working on that energy. Okay, so we chose this card. Okay, this is the number four. This is the Emperor. Okay, so this is the fourth uh, position in the Fool's Journey. So the Emperor is, uh, as you would imagine, just in charge. Total, totally, uh, what this man says goes. Um, this is um, a big yes card, and uh, there's no looking back and no regretting uh, that you've moved on forward. So this is a yes card. I'm going to write this down, and we'll set that right here. I chose number two. Okay, so this is a knight. No, this is a page of cups. Okay, so the page of cups is, uh, you know, the page is the least effective member of the royal court, and cups, of course, are emotion, compassion. And this page, but this page has his back turned to us, okay? He's, um, is this a cup, a chalice he's holding up, or is this the moon in the distance? It looks like the moon to me. He's gazing at the moon. This uh, uh, turtle is slowly revealing itself out of the water. So, yeah, this page of cups is... Um, you know, it's it's a yes, but because it's something moving forward, the page has information, um, but they're not quite revealing it to us. So this is a, a yes uh, with some hesitancy. Okay. That's number two. Chose number three. Okay. So this is the nine of pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is really just a wash. You know, Pent Pentacles are it could be money. They could be, they really value. They're of the earth. And you can see these uh, Nine Pentacles I lined up around her. She's got this beautiful, uh, what is this, beautiful dove on her arm here. So she's just a washing wealth. This is a great big yes card, uh, almost feeling privileged uh, that you, um, or uh, as you, as if you are privileged. And yeah, of course you're going to do this. So the last card, that's what you chose, is this Five of Swords. And this is a no card. And the Five of Swords is... Um, Kind of an abuse of power, so it's it's lies, it's cheating, uh, it's uh, one person uh, wielding their um, their self over the other. Uh, so yeah, this is a very abusive, taking advantage of. This is a no, and this is an, a kind of an ugly no. So, but let's see what that means. All right, so we'll put these off to the side. I'll just leave them face up because this is getting too complicated to flip them over again, again when they got pictures on both sides. And uh, the first card is this Four of Pentacles. Uh, oh, did I misinterpret this card a minute ago? This is a four of pentacles. This is not the emperor. So the four, of, and let me see the other side. It's very interesting. Four of pentacles. Yeah, this is a four of pentacles. So it's still, uh, it's still, uh, okay, so it's a hesitant card. Four of pentacles is really trying to hang. I'm so sorry about that. And I hope you're still watching if you chose number one. So uh, the one is a four of pentacles, and pentacles are holding on to your value. Now, granted, this fellow looks very well able to hold on to his value, but you can't help but notice that this uh, wand down here, wands are fire. Their plans, their changes, their motions forward. And this, this wand is on fire, and that seems a threat to him. So it's holding on your value, you know, really against uh, uh, all, um, you know what, this is a no. I hate to tell you, but this is a no. It would have, I said it was a yes and you liked it, I apologize because this is a no card. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's a stubborn no. I'm just writing this down so I remember uh, in a minute. So yeah, this is a very stubborn no. I apologize for that. That makes me feel terrible. But let's get on with the read. So the second fire card is this holding on to your value with everything you've got, really. And so let's get five more cards to help uh, see what else goes with that that uh, four of pentacles that stubborn stubborn choice okay the uh, challenge to that is going to be this uh, okay this is the magician he's got his back to us is the problem though the challenge to holding on to everything you've got is that you don't have all the tools you might have because this magician has got his back to you he's not noticing that you need his help uh, actually Okay, the base of uh, this uh, reading then is going to be this uh, three of wands, long term planning. So, yeah, it may not be the time to make this move forward to, to agree to this thing because there's some stuff that needs to be taken care of first. Uh, the path to this uh, is this two of cups, or is this the empress? Oh, I'm going to flip the card over to see if I get clarity on that. So, yeah, this is the empress, as a matter of fact. Yep, this is the empress. When the number's in the middle of the card, it's a major arcana card. So, this is the empress. 
No, this is the um, high priestess. I'm sorry, this has been a confusing reading. This is the high priestess. It's even more um, important uh, than the empress would be. But the fact is, again, just like the magician, this empress has her back to us. So there's the potentiality of getting close to this uh, this authority, uh, but you really have to get its attention. And that's kind of how we came into this issue, kind of not being noticed at such an important moment. In the sky of this reading, with this knight... Uh, no, this is a page of pentacles. Okay, so this is a message of, of, of some value here, okay, that can come into this. Uh, and then the likely outcome of the whole thing is going to be this five, six, seven, eight. Uh, wow. This is this has got to be the devil because five, six, seven, eight, it seems like the devil was a higher number card than that. But this is, uh, this is, or is this strength? Ah, I think this is strength. And let me see the other side. It certainly is. Okay, so this is strength, but this is strength in the face of adversity. Okay, so yeah, this is a hard uh, no. Um, it's not exactly the right time. Okay, magic doesn't isn't looking upon us at this very minute. It's close. Um, everybody's got their back to us in this thing. Um, you know, this is going to require a plan that has to be carried out into the future. Uh, this, this three of wands isn't looking at us. In the past, uh, we're right up to the point of getting uh, noticed. Um, the, the, it's a valuable situation that we were involved with as far as this is concerned. And uh, this is, in saying no is like having strength in the face of adversity. And look at all these cards that have their back turned to us. They're saying no, not, not yet, not yet. Interesting. Okay, put this back. Put this way over here, as a matter of fact, and start with the number two card, if that's what you chose. Signifier then is going to be this page of cups. And this is a yes card. Um, it's a yes card. Um, but again, there's some hesitancy here. This fella isn't looking us in the face. Okay, so we need five cards to finish this off. Five cards. The first one, challenge to that. It's going to be the three of pentacles putting something together for public display. So this is, uh, you know, a hesitant yes uh, because there's so much detail that has to go into it, I believe. Uh, the base of this, then, is going to be this knight of cups. So there's a strong, um, uh, uh, steady, uh, passionate with the cups force uh, pushing this thing forward. And then the past of this is going to be this five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so this is the secrets being revealed. And again... Yeah, it's funny that uh, you know the back is turned to us on this. We've got to face this fully in the face, but uh, these secrets are are yeah somewhat um, distant for some reason. Okay, then the um, sky of this is going to be this uh, wands. What is this? This is a knight of wands again with his back to us. This, this, so this knight of wands is strength, and I almost take this as leading us into the correct uh, path for this. Okay. Um, the likely outcome at the end of this, the last card, they've got this Eight of Cups, is understanding sometimes you do have to leave some emotional uh, things uh, behind. Again, back turned to us. So, yeah, this is a, a, a yes, um, a hesitant yes always, and uh, but it doesn't mean we can't move forward. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put those back in the pack individually. One, two, and then if you chose number three, the signifier being this nine of pentacles. Okay, really being a wash in value. So this is a yes card, and it's a um, strong yes. But again, this um, this woman has her back to us, so it could be leading us to that uh, decision. So this is a nice uh, authoritative yes. Five more cards. The challenge to that, then, is going to be this Knight of Swords, a Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. This Knight is fighting to get this uh, done correctly. Okay, The base of this is the um, Queen of Wands. This Queen, again, has her back to us. You can see this is the throne right here, and you can see her head over here. She's holding this wand, uh, and uh, this is the little red arm of her, whatever she's dressed in. If I turn it over, you'll see. OK, so uh, this is the queen of wands and uh, so the queen of getting something done. Uh, she's got her back to us. And you may notice, too, that she's, there's a beautiful image of kind of a sphinx like queen very faintly uh, on this corner right here that she's facing. So it's a strength. It's a guidance. Uh, so, yeah, this queen of wands is is um, is ready to stand up for whatever this is. The past of this, then, 
Okay, with this Queen of Pentacles. Wow, so we got a lot of royalty on our, on our side here. Queen of Pentacles. She's got her back turned. You can see this is the throne. This is the Queen's outline right here. She's holding their, her uh, uh, staff, uh, I think it's called, but anything right in her hand right there. And see, this is uh, how this would look uh, otherwise. Well, is this a king then? This, I'm glad I looked it up because this is actually a King of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I looked. So this is a King of Pentacles. So this is just it just is even with more authority than it would have been before. Uh, really kind of leading us in is how it looks like to me. The uh, sky of this is going to be this uh, magician. Yep, this is the magician. So yeah, whereas before we had him uh, this way, now we have him, you know, giving us full authority and uh, to get this thing done. And then the final outcome of this yes card is this. Let me look over here. Yep, that's a king, isn't it? Yep. So this is a king of swords, uh, again, uh, leading us into battle. So, yeah, this is a nice authoritative yes uh, with lots of protection for us. These folks are standing in front of us um, right here, and um, and we, we're in Bible with a lot of authority for this decision. So that's good. Now, for the last card, put this over here so there's not too much in the way. And for the last card, which is number four, so this is the five of swords. Five of swords which is an abuse of power, fully facing us. This is what it looked like if it went the other way. But this abuse of power is really uh, right there, larding it over us. Uh, this is the no card, and um, you know, it's not a pleasant no. So whatever the no is associated with this could be uh, taxing. So we'll see. Five cards. The challenge to that then is this Knight of Pentacles. So this Knight uh, almost looks resigned to... Um, you know that the battle is over and he's taking this he's taking this forward so that's the challenge to uh, this abuse of power is um, maybe some fighting ability that just just waned uh, the base of this is going to be this knight of wands and it's the same thing this one knight has his back to us the the the, the, bur the bush is burning okay but this knight of wands isn't going to give up but uh, so that's a strong um taxed uh, energy there. On the past of this is the Four of Wands, which are smaller celebrations. Again, these folks back to turn to us, but it's almost like they're headed off into a joyful <clears throat> situation. Sky of this reading, then with this Queen, is this Queen? Yeah. Okay, with this, um, this has to be a king, doesn't it? What do you think? That's a king. With this king of swords is, uh, yeah, truth, justice, rules, law, fully in control. And then the final outcome whew, with this eight of wands is lots of stuff coming at us, and uh, it's not pretty. So it's a uh, no card, and there's reason for that. So that's the cards for today. That was a pretty interesting read, it seemed like to me. Uh, so we got the four cards. I hope they were helpful to you. Hope you got something out of that, and you maybe just want to uh, give it a good think. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.